Uh, Brian. All right, we're gonna start, start with, with me. you. <laughs> Brian, you're the creator of the entire Scott Pilgrim universe. Uh, where did you find the inspiration for the character in the story? I kind of just grew out of my own life. I lived in Toronto. I was in my early 20s. I was in a band, and uh, I wanted to just turn my life into something more exciting. Because uh, you know, I really like video games. I really like Japanese comics and uh, and movies, and I wanted to just do something that was like that, but that also reflected my own life and was grounded in my regular Canadian Toronto reality. Uh, was it easy or difficult for you to turn the creative control of your brainchild over to a group of people who may not exactly share yeah. your same vision of the, of the uh, project? Uh, it was easy to, to give it to the right person who happened to be uh, Edgar Wright, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, at the time, he had just finished his first feature film, and uh, I had just, you know, done one or two graphic novels, and I was young, and he was younger than himself now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just, he just seemed like exactly the right person. I couldn't imagine anyone else, and uh, I still, to this day, cannot imagine anyone else having done it. And how did the movie adaptation of your graphic novels live up to your expectations? Uh, I think it, it surpassed my expectations in, uh, in pretty much every regard. Uh, you know, Edgar is just, he's an, he's an auteur. He's a genius in, in some way that I can't, I can't really articulate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he just, he, he, are, he visualized it in ways that I could not even begin to imagine. And now I've seen them, and it blew my mind. <laughs>